So here is the Nubotan Arm Cortex M23 solution right here. And hi, so who are you? Uh, I'm Robert Lin. I'm responsible for the M23 CPT1, the latest uh, ARM VAM uh, secure micro IoT microcontroller in Nimotone. So you are uh, the first, or one of the first, to use ARM V8M, right? Yes, and uh, we just got uh, both PSA and the PSA functional API certified. So you have this uh, uh, here, it says uh, PSA certified trophy right here. So uh, that means uh, uh, you have full security in the microcontroller, right? Yes, and the target, this microcontroller targeting secure IoT applications. So um, what is this board? What is uh, this? This board is actually a maker board, we call it. But it's not just only for evaluation. It can be easily to connect it to IoT Cloud, for example, ARM Pelion system. So uh, right here, you're talking about it. Uh, um, what is the text here? What is What do you say? Uh, Pelion Secure IoT Device Management. Actually, it's based on Pelion Cloud. Pelion Cloud. What is a Pelion Cloud? Pelion system is uh, endorsed by ARM. Uh, a convenient, secure, uh, remote IoT operating system. So here it says the, the tree, it says you have a Cortex M0, M4, M23, and uh, you have AD51 also, an ARM9. Correct. So what is the company, where are you based? We based in Taiwan. Yeah. And uh, the CPU course represent, uh, represented our product portfolio. So you can see we cover a lot of CPU cores and uh, we try to maximize these CPU cores to develop many MCU products for customer, for application requirement. And what is the other solution you have around here? Um, for example, this one right here, what is this? This is uh, industry remote terminal unit based on our... Uh, this is uh, a industrial remote terminal unit. It's a, uh, use our ARM9 series products. It runs a Linux? It, it can run Linux, yeah. Re if, to do what? This is a uh, gateway-like uh, product. So it can, uh, uh, with, it can operate uh, with a gateway and to receive many different uh, communication uh, protocol or uh, data. Nice. And is this uh, using the M23? Yes. So you can do a secure fingerprint unlock? But uh, it's just, it doesn't just be limited on secure fingerprint. It can also offer more resources for end device development. So, so how did you make the M23 so quickly? How do you work on this? Um, how long time did it take? Uh, yes. We invested on, on VAM. Uh, Focus on M23 three years ago. Three years ago? Yes, yes. At the yes. beginning? Yes. At we, the very, very beginning. We are one of the first wave uh, partner uh, with ARM yeah. for this new CPU core. Is this shipping mass production now? Sure. Since when? Sure. When is the mass La production Last start? Uh, 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 September. September 2018? La yes. Mass production? Yes. And uh, uh, this is the idea of the, the, the ARM V8M, right? You have a security. Yes, yes. Secure element or secure. Uh, we should say trust zone. Trust Ar zone. Architecture. Today, uh, many people are co still confused or struggled to use trust yes. zone MCU because uh, it's a different from traditional secure element. But uh, we try to develop yeah. trust zone applications as the references for the market. Then people can quickly catch up this concept uh, and uh, develop a useful IoT application based on trust on MCU. It's a big change for the embedded world, right? Right, right. Is it a big, right. big change? Right. Because other people do security without the trust zone, but it's not the same? It, yes, it, we added some, uh, a lot of uh, trust zone beyond the features. 
So customer can use these uh, uh, features, uh, cooperate with TrustZone securely, conveniently, to protect their software asset, also uh, remote network communications. This nice. is a big revolution. Big revolution. Yes. And uh, around here, you have some more solutions right here. So uh, there you're seeing human machine interface solutions. Uh, what is this? Maybe yeah. Tyler can help you. Hi, I'm Hi. Tyler from so Nivertone. I'm sales from Dimbleton, Tyler. So what is this? Oh, so okay, so right here is our M4 solutions. This is an M4 core. The template. same as this? No, this is an R9. Ah, uh, uh, R9, yeah. Yeah, this is an M4, M4 core. M4. It connected to a camera CMOS sensor, and yeah. it, and it reads a uh, serial number over here. So you can see yeah. you can the M4 core can drive a display over here. Yeah. And uh, is this sending the signal or? Yes, it's sending the signal to Bluetooth. To this M4 core, this is also another M4 inside. It drives the LED, so wow. it reads the it, it reads the number. It translate it, uh, transfer it to it, and then if it's in real time, it runs some kind of a, a neural yeah. network machine learning algorithms. Okay. So it reckon, uh, it used the um, machine learning algorithm to do the pattern recognition. Nice. So if uh, uh, if you can see right over here, I change the number. Here. I put the three in the front. As you can see, it's lined up in here. So there's a button say press here. Yeah. Uh, so press it. As you can see, it update. Yeah, it reads the number and transfer nice. into it. Is this a M4 also? This is an R9. R9, R9 solution. So this is a human interface, and uh, you can do some like something like touch screen, or for uh, as you can see, there is a telemetry data. Yeah. Yeah, telemetry data over here. Yeah. So if you some, read some kind of data from the sensors, and you can transfer the data to something like a screen, so you okay. can read it easily. And also, we have license from Sager, uh, the EMWIN library, so you can nice. do the GUI very quickly. Nice. And if you use our chip, uh, ARM9 chip, I, we, you are using the EMWIN library for free. Nice. And what do you have over there? Okay, please. Yeah. So right over Can you here. stand behind there? So, so what is this? Uh, this is a Dolly 2 lighting control system. It's, uh, it's a protocol by Philips, and uh, as you can see, it's connected to multiple controller uh, boards with uh, applications like this. Through one is for data and one for power. It's not mesh. Uh, no, it's not it, a mesh. It's solution. not a mesh. It's not mesh. So, so how does it work? So, they use the differential yeah. wire. Uh, then we call it the Dali bus. Dali bus. Okay. Lighting control. So, uh, may I show you? If uh, I choose, uh, if now it's, you want to control this one, yeah. you can switch the toggle and change its color. Or so, what is the market for this? Market for this, like home control automation or light control in your household, or uh, if something like. You want to do it's in a chain. It's it's in a chain, but uh, you can do separate control. Nice. Like, uh, if I so each one has an ID, and they can yes. tell which one to do what. Yeah, as you can see, like, it's like, flat. A, in yeah. the, like in the building, you can control yeah. every light. All the lights. All right. Um, you can control every light, and also that we support multi master mode. So that for multi master means that you can control it independently. If this, if this matter doesn't yeah. work, and you can automatically switch to another matter. Hi, so, so who are you? Oh, uh, my, my name is Jenny, and um, I'm the marketing from Nuvatan. So as a Nuvatan uh, um, has a big market? Yes, we are a quite global mar a global company, and like we um, we basically our hardware uh, headquarter is in Taiwan, but we have the uh, office globally, like in um, China, in U.S., in Israel, and even in India. The company is how old? 
Um, it's uh, ten, 11 years this year. 11, 11 years, years old. Years, yeah. And it's always doing IoT embedded uh, stuff yes. since the beginning? Yeah, since the beginning, we, we are developing our microcontroller. And now we try to uh, expand our platform to like the IoT gateway or IoT security. And how many uh, engineers? Is it a secret? Uh, no, the total personnel is around 1,500. 1,500? 1,500. In, in Taipei? Um, no, no, in Shinju. global. But we yeah. also have a sales office in Taipei. Yeah. So, and... Uh, uh, what are all these boards? The different solutions you have? Yes, this yeah. is a different... Like this is in uh, ARM 9 solutions. You can connect it yeah. to the zero port of the internet. And, or M4. This is... Yeah. And there's different art modules yeah. that can combine it, yeah. with the Arduino what interface. What is this? You said there is like the uh, narrowband IoT or a Wi-Fi module, and also like LoRaWAN, different kinds of the four kinds of RF modules. Which one is the most popular solution you have? Um, I think like everyone is very, everything is very popular. Everything is very popular. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, but uh, uh, in the future, are you gonna do any Cortex M33? Um, you have any announcement about this or? We are still planning for it, um, so there's like Cannot a have an exclusive for my video. Okay, <laughs> cool. All right, yeah. but uh, thank you very much. No, Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.